Hello and welcome to Thaik. I am Mohammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about parameters in Microsoft Power BI. If you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Now let's get started. Parameters in Power BI is not new feature, it is already available in it from the I think it's from the beginning itself but I am not going to get into that the best use of the parameter is we can set the dynamic data sources and databases so for example if you are using a development server and development database and if you want to publish the same to your production database production server you can just copy and paste uh, the file and then you can just change the parameters so that you can connect the same file to the production server also if you are a consultant and uh, you are developing for someone else and you can use uh, your database and data sources and you can give this file to them so they can just see the parameters and they can use for their data source and databases so let's go in the practical so first of all you need to enable the parameters click on the file go to options and settings and go to options if you click on the power query editor there is a parameter option in this always allow parameterization in data source and transformation thereof so you need to tick this option to enable this feature then click ok then if you go to this power query editor and there is option like parameters in manage parameters click on the new parameter option if you are going to create a new one in this example i already created three data i mean parameters data source i have given data source name then parameter name parameter description it is required and type is any decimal date time date time text or something like that if it is suggested value you can also use it here or a list of values or a power query you can use this or if you want to give a static value i have just given a static value here whereas the same i have taken for the database whereas i can list all the databases whatever i want so here in this example i have used two data bases here i have suggested values is list of values and two data bases are there so default will be jw and the current one is jw okay i can select whatever i want cool right so this is how you can create a data then parameter close and apply now what i will do is i will just i will just click on this one edit queries and then edit parameters it will open up the dialog box it is asking for data source and there is no drop down here as you have seen before the database i created two databases as a parameters in terms of the static static one now i'm going to change this to jw and if i want to select the store as well i can do that but i just not want to select the store i just want to select the database and click ok if you notice that these are information available there are pending changes you need to apply apply changes once i click on this it is going to the another databases to get the information and to import the data jw database so it will take a little time depending on the your performance or of, of your pc cool the name has been changed to job book and sale again if you want to go back to previous one just click on the edit queries small icon and then click on edit parameters and change the database from jw to info source and click ok and click on apply changes yeah the store names and everything has been changed here it is the best use of uh, using the parameters in power bi how we can create the parameters i will tell you once again for that you again need to go to edit queries and then there's option in the home tab parameters click on that 
and if you click on new parameter you can create a new parameter whatever you want and you can create a description and if it is required or not and you need to select the type and decimal place date time date time date time time zone duration text for or binary and here the important factor suggested value if it is any or list of values or from query any means you can just type in the static value whatever you need data source as an example or if you need a list of values you can just type it here the list of values multiple values jw example database something like that so it will just bring it on your parameter list because you can select the options from there and then you need to select the data default value and current value or you can use it from the query the list of query stored here how you can create this query i will tell you now just cancel this one say for example this is store master table and if you want to create the store list for that first of all you need to right click on any column what you want and then click on add as a new query it will bring you up in it, it will add you in the query Refresh. so if you want to remove the duplicate you can remove the duplicate and then it will give the list of it i'm just giving it a name store list team now again i'm going to home tab parameters and new parameters if you go to this one query i will have seen this one store list new so in that i can select the latest value whatever i need okay so we'll go one by one the data source i created using any any suggested value and the static value whereas the data of this i use a list of values from this one and i have typed it manually list of databases available here and i need to select the default value and current value whereas we go to store i have used the third one the query option here and i have created the query from the database i mean from imported data itself and i can use this one as a default value close and apply So this is just a brief about the parameters in Microsoft Power BI. If you like this video, please click on the big thumbs up button. And if you are visiting first time to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Also share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any feedback and queries, please let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.